Good morning, everyone. Today is June 29th, 2020. It is Monday, start of a new week. And our devotion today that our Synod has given us is entitled, Good News, based on Matthew 9, verse 35. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. Recently, actor John Krasinski attacked attracted the attention of millions of Americans with a homemade, self-produced news show that featured only good news in every segment. He called it SGN, Some Good News, and Americans flocked to it, responding or reposting it on their social media feeds and giving the show initial episode 18 million views on YouTube. It's not too hard to understand why people are desperate for some good news. It was not all that different 2,000 years ago. People back then faced disease and witnessed oppression. They saw marriages break apart and families disintegrate. They wrestled with hypocrisy and anger in themselves. They experienced disillusionment and they coped with tragedy. Its manifestations may have changed over the years, but sin was indeed able to mess things up back then, just as it does today. People need some good news, and Jesus brought it, going through all the towns and villages proclaiming the good news. But Jesus' good news was more than just human interest stories of kindness and hope. The good news that Jesus brought to, to brought told people of kindness of the eternal God, bringing hope of eternal life to people surrounded by sin on every side. He proclaimed the good news of the kingdom. How surprising, how unexpected it wouldn't have been on all that shocking if the Son of God had come proclaiming the bad news. It wouldn't have been all that shocking if Jesus had proclaimed, you deserve only anger from a holy God. He would have been exactly right. But the Son of God came not to destroy, but to destroy, came not to destroy us, but to destroy the devil's work by achieving perfect obedience in this life and by offering a perfect sacrifice in his death. The price has been paid in full, and we didn't have to do anything to earn it. That's good news. In the end, some good news has lost a bit of its luster as John Krasinski faced popular backlash for selling the rights to the show to CBS. And yes, even the best news that comes from the heart of man can still result in angst and turmoil. But the good news of the kingdom never loses its luster. God has come near and paid for sin. That's surprisingly good news in a bad news world. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, make your good news a comfort for me in our chaotic world and my hope of a brighter future in eternity. Amen. Just another announcement regarding morning devotions. In the email that is sent out to the congregation, you will notice that there is a subscribe link in each of the emails. If you go to that site, you can subscribe for these Wells devotions that I've been reading to you for the last three months. So with all the uh, changes that are taking place, this is certainly something that I would encourage you to do. It actually gets to your inbox earlier. I know today's email that was sent to me was sent at 2 a.m. So for all you early risers out there, it'll get there by 2 a.m. So, God's blessings to you all. Please subscribe to the Wells Devotions so that you can still get your daily bread from the Wells. Otherwise, at the end of this week, it will be the last morning devotion that I will do. Thank you.